Today we are looking at Word Hero. So this is a review of the Word Hero AI content generator software. This can generate blog posts, social media content, basically any documentation using AI. So automatically generating content for you. Very useful if you work in this sort of content creation area. Now, uh, it does have a lifetime deal. I'll put that link in the description. A lot of you have been asking about this deal because it does have unlimited mode. Now, $89. I was a bit hesitant because that's more expensive than the other um, tools I've been using. And I'm a small channel. I have to actually buy this stuff myself. So I was like, oh, do I really have to spend 89? I think enough of you asked me that I said, okay, I'll bite the bullet. I'll pay the 89 and we'll check this out. So I really want to see how this does. Is it worth it? How good is the quality that it spits out? So let's get started on this Word Hero review. All right, so before we start generating content, I think the reason you guys were interested in this one is because of this unlimited generator mode. So the unlimited generator mode means we don't have a monthly limit on how many words we can create. Mostly these tools have a 10,000 or 20,000 word limit around that mark, but this one doesn't have any limits. So you can create lots of blog posts or lots of content using this system. It does say this deal it's gonna end at some point, so I don't know how much longer there is, but I think that's the reason why it's more expensive because it doesn't have a limit. Most of them do, so $89, that's why you can do more with this tool than other tools. So um, it is subject to a fair use policy. I wanted to check out what their fair use policy was. So searching through their help section, um, there is a answer to that. Some tools are limited to three per minute and some tools are limited to 10 per minute. So that's sort of a guideline. Um, you'll see in a minute when we use the tools, if you were trying to automate this or use a bot or a script to automatically generate tons of content, you wouldn't be able to do that. You have to use it reasonably like a human would use it. And then in that case, it's unlimited, but don't try to take advantage of it and automate it or spam it. I think that's what the fair use policy means. So in my experience, it hasn't limited me at all in terms of how fast I can do things. So let's go ahead, um, head to our dashboard and let's start creating a blog post with Word Hero. All right, so in our dashboard, we've got lots of tools, lots of uh, social media specific tools, um, tools for blogging in particular. So we've got blog headlines, blog intros, blog outlines. These were the most useful uh, tools that I found in my testing, blog conclusions as well. The blog topic one, I didn't like that as much, but these ones are really, really good. So we're gonna use these to generate our blog post in just a second. But basically there's loads of tools. I'm not gonna test all of them in this review. I'm gonna focus on the things I like the best. Also there's editor mode, which gives us like a document editor mode we'll talk about that a bit later as well but let's get started using these tools and let's see what we get all right so we're going to need a topic i usually choose the topic of the watch i'm wearing the vostok amphibia so this is a fairly affordable little mechanical dive watch it has a very interesting history they've been making these since the 60s and the design hasn't changed since then so it's a very interesting kind of watch very affordable too, around $80. So we're gonna actually do like a product review post. So something like this, where you've got the title, you write a bit about the history and the features. This has some interesting features. So I think it's a good topic to test an AI with. I think it's specific enough that it will challenge the AI to stay on topic, write about the key features. I think a lot of reviewers, they choose very general topics. I think AI writers do well when you keep things very simple and general. As you try to get more specific, more and more detailed, and more and more focused on particular words, that's when they can go off topic. So that's a good way to test how an AI actually performs when you give it a very dedicated, specific task. So that's why I'm gonna choose this topic. Let's go ahead and try making a headline here. So for our topic, we're gonna to put in uh, Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review. I'm gonna say write for me here, and it's writing. It's gonna give us some ideas in the side here. So what it does here is it gives us some nice flavor text that can match our headline here. So uh, you've got the retro that came straight from the sea, stylish and sublime review on a Soviet era diving watch. So you've got a few nice ideas here. You can click on any of them and it will copy it to your clipboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a document in um, Google Docs here and just use that as our subheading. So Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review, review on a Soviet era diving watch. Next thing, we'll do our blog intro. So we just fill in a topic here. So you can put in up to 200 characters. So that's about 40 words. So I'm just gonna put in a uh, Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review, a great Russian mechanical dive watch for under $80. Let's go ahead and create a intro. It's worth mentioning that this isn't just for the start of the article. You can use this tool for any section. So any subheading, you can put the topic in and create content straight away and it'll give you three choices. So in my case, I really like the uh, third choice and even the first one here. So if you like two of them, you can copy 
both of them and add them to the article, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to copy that one, pop that in there, and grab that first one as well there, and um, pop that in as well. I will play around with the order here. So I think this sentence looks better at the end of our introduction. And besides that, it looks pretty good. I'd just correct the price there, $76 rather than $79. And I might just delete a couple of words out of here. Then maybe just say uh, the Vostek Amphibia Dive Watch. That sounds a little bit better, but this is very nice content. I think this is probably among the best content generation I've seen so far, and it's generating a good amount as well. So already 140 words in just one click there. So a lot of other tools I've tried only gave me 50 or 60 words. Um, this is giving lots of good content uh, with very little effort. So, so far, so good. All right, so next tool I wanna do is the outline. So let's go ahead and do the outline. All right, so it's given us subheadings for our blog post and straight away, I'm very happy with what it's done here. These are very logical, very on topic, and they actually sound very human as well. I'm gonna copy all of those into our document. And besides that, the only other heading I really wanna mention is the history of the watch, because it does have fairly interesting history. So my own knowledge of this topic means I'd wanna mention that as well. So I'll put history in here as well. So there we go. I've set all these to headings and I've got history of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch first up. So let's go ahead and do that one. Um, we can just go ahead and pop that in. We're going to use a intro paragraph to do that. Click right. Let's see what we get. All right. So these three choices, the top one is really, really good, actually. Even the date 1967 is correct. So I'm going to copy that one here, pop that in. Uh, usually AI writers are terrible with details like that, but in this case, it's got that part right. Um, the Mus Russian Ministry of Defense authorized the production in, for sale in 1970. I'm not sure about that. You could check that, but I might actually just delete the things I'm not sure about. So I'll just say the Russian Ministry of Defense authorized its use by military divers. And uh, the name Amphibia was chosen because it can live both on land and in water. That sounds pretty cool. So straight away, I'm noticing that the quality coming out of this generator is very good. Like I'm not having to repeat myself. I'm not having to change things too much. This is doing very well, much, much better than average. Let's go ahead and try the next one here. So I do like to leave the keyword in the, the section. So I'm going to leave that in there, dive watch, and then we'll put um, introduction to who is it for and its features. So let's see what we get. All right. So this is what we've got. Now, just reading through these, I really like this first one as our paragraph, so I'm going to pop that in there. We have mentioned uh, the introduction around 67 already, so I'll just delete that part out. But I think this is good, a good answer here. So uh, one of the most durable watches on the market. This is geared towards those who enjoy water sports and people who are more active than average. The Vostok Amphibia was originally designed for professional divers to withstand harsh conditions, but now it's used by anyone working outdoors or for those who are just an adventurous type. I think this is a good response to who is it for. So I might actually just rename the heading there. Um, Vostok Amphibia, who is it for? I think that's a good sort of paragraph to have in our post. Who is it for? Just messed up the formatting there, let's fix that. There we go, cool. All right, so the next one we've got watch strap. What is the watch strap made of? Is there a warranty? I think these are probably two ideas. So we're gonna use watch strap, what is the strap made of? And is there a warranty? So again, I'll put my keyword in here, Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. Um, watch strap, what is the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch strap made of? And is there a warranty? Uh, on the Vostok MVP dive watch. Let's use these. I think these are good inputs to use. Let's go ahead and do this one. So these are pretty good. I think using the word strap, it kind of focuses more on the rubber strap options, but with these watches, the metal bracelet is more uh, popular. So I actually want to write about the metal bracelet. So rather than saying strap, let's put bracelet in as our keyword. And we want to talk about that steel bracelet rather than the strap. So let's try doing that. All right, so using these keywords, we've got some pretty good outputs. I think this is a, quite a challenging one for an AI. When I've tried this on other AIs, it's completely failed, but these are actually pretty good. I think the third one is probably the best here, but you, sometimes you've got to play around with your keywords to get the right output, but this is doing really well. I'm very impressed so far. Um, let's pop that in as our next paragraph. Again, let's change that to bracelet. I think this is an important topic. Let's go. Awesome. All right, let's check. Is there a warranty? I haven't actually checked this. I don't know if there's a warranty. Let's see what the AI comes up with here. 
So while that's processing, let's actually check the retailer page and we can see that it actually does have a one year warranty. So let's see, um, it has picked up here yet, yeah, 12 month warranty. So let's use this paragraph. I'll have a quick read and I'll see if this is, is useful for this topic. So it does talk about the um, durability, tough, iconic. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, it was even awarded the prestigious watch of the year in 2009. I don't know if that's true. I might just delete one sentence there, but despite being a low cost watch, it still comes with a full 12 month warranty from the manufacturer. I think that's pretty good. I mean, this is really doing very well. I'm surprised here. We are up to 400 words already. And this experience is really easy so far. This is cruising along and it's doing very well, even with very specific inputs here. So um, I'd say this is among the best, probably the best that I've used out of the last eight or nine that I've tried. I think you're up there with Jarvis and um, PepperType in terms of how well this is producing its outputs. So I'm very, very impressed so far. Uh, what else do we have here? We have the design. So let's go ahead and try that one. So I've got our topic. I'll put the main keyword in as well. So the design of the Lost Token Amphibia Dive Watch. Let's see what we get here. So this is a fairly big um, input here. So it'll be interesting to see how it handles this one. So this is a tricky one because we've actually asked it to do three things. How big is it? Is it waterproof? Is it scratch resistant? So this might actually be better broken down. So I think this first one, it does a good job of talking about the size, but it hasn't gone on to address the other two things. So let's talk about the size in this one. And then let's talk about the other stuff a bit later. So let's go there. I'm going to talk about how big is it? Now, in terms of sizes, it is correct saying there's a 39 millimeter case, but there's also a 39, 41 and 43 and a 33 for women. So let's just focus on the men's ones there and just say uh, the 43 means it can occupy a large uh, real estate on your wrist, which is perfect for something large. Um, uh, but there are 39 millimeter and 41 millimeter options too. So that's pretty cool. So is it waterproof? It should be able to handle that pretty easy. Um, where are we? There we go. The Vostok Amphibia. Is it waterproof? Let's go. I might actually reword this. This isn't too bad, but I think people don't really talk about waterproof. They talk about water resistance. So I'm going to say uh, water resistance and put the keyword right at the front. So resistance of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. I think this might be a better input. So sometimes you've got to play around with the input. I think that input uh, didn't do too badly, but I think this might be better. So let's just try this one out. All right, these are much better. And the third one there is probably our best. So I'm going to use that one, pop that in there. Is it waterproof? It has a rating of 200 meters, which is actually correct in this case. But sometimes you do see AIs get those uh, detailed numbers wrong. But in this case, we're okay. But uh, always fact check your numbers. Um, all this is cool. So I like this. This is it scratch resistant. I think let's talk about uh, is is the face scratch resistant because that's the part that people are interested in when they talk about scratch resistance rather than the actual steel case uh, is the face scratch resistant. And let's be specific here because we're talking about the acrylic. This watch comes in acrylic and mineral glass and the acrylic is much more popular. So the acrylic can scratch um, the uh, Vostok Amphibia, Vostok Amphibia. is the acrylic face scratch resistant. So I've been quite specific about what I'm looking for here. I think this is very difficult for an AI. It'll be interesting to see if Word Hero can actually do this because pretty much every AI right I've tried will fail with something like this. It will just give us some general dribble about the construction or features. But let's have a look what we've got. Now this first one's actually reasonable. I think this is the first time an AI writer has been able to handle that topic with any any level of competency. So I will need to edit this a bit. Is the acrylic face scratch resistant? The Vostok Amphibia is a watch with an acrylic face that has gained popularity in recent years. Some people argue this type of watch scratches more easily than other materials, while others believe the opposite. Uh, the Vostok Amphibia scratch resistant can be evaluated using, I don't know if this stuff's true, so I might just delete that bit. But um, uh, because, uh, because it's easy to buff out very easy to buff any small scratches and i think that addresses the topic correctly which is cool i mean this is very difficult i probably wouldn't use this with most ai's i think it's very generous that it's been able to actually even attempt such a, a specific detail let's go ahead and use our conclusion so we can do the conclusion in the um, paragraph created here or we can actually try out the conclusion generator here 
So let's try that out. Conclusion. Yeah, it's come up with two conclusions, and both of these are fine, honestly. So I'm just going to go with that first one, and let's wrap this up. So there we go. What have we got here? So word count is 691. This is really quite good. Like, it's given us nearly 700 words. All this content is pretty good. Like, a lot of the other writers I've tried get repetitive, or they go off topic, and this is this is kept fairly well on topic. It's done details that other writers haven't been able to address. So I'd say uh, I think this is... Uh, probably among the best. Like you've got Jarvis as the top end of quality, and I think this is very close. The other one I really like was Peppertype. I mean, I mean, Jarvis and Peppertype don't have lifetime deals. They don't ha- certainly don't have an unlimited lifetime deal. So this is very, very good in terms of what it's offering and and the quality of what what is outputting. Honestly, this post overall compared to what I've done in the last eight or nine or ten of these. Uh, tools that I've tried. This is probably the best post I've come up with using AI. So uh, maybe I'm getting better at using them, but I think this actual system is probably better than most, um, almost better than all of them from what I could see. All right. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the editor feature. So if we click editor here, we actually see that editor is a paid add-on. So you've got to pay an extra $59 if you want this editor. So the editor is basically, um, it's just like using a document editor. Um, But if you watch their Word Hero, the Word Hero channel actually has um, a demonstration of what the editor does. Now, it's got an outline tool and a paragraph generator. These look to be exactly the same as the tools we're already using on our our demonstration that we just did. So it's the same tool as the um, paragraph generator and uh, the outline generator. So those two seem to be exactly the same as those two. The only tool that you're getting for the $59 is this one called Write More, where it, um, it'll start picking off um, where you left off so you can continue your paragraph if you click Write More. But the quality that they're getting from that Write More feature doesn't seem to be as good as the quality that you get from the paragraph generator. So this tool works a lot better than this tool. So when you actually watch their video, um, you can see that he prefers using this one rather than this one. He has to delete the content that he writes with this one quite often. So uh, this one is better um, and you get unlimited access to that tool uh, in the actual $89 version. So you didn't really have to add that $59 extra to use that editor unless you really want that extra interface and keep everything in the same interface and, and a little bit more seamless, I guess. If you were writing lots of stuff every day, it might be quicker to use this, but um, I didn't have any trouble just copying and pasting. If you're using two monitors, I think you could probably save your $59, but um, that's from, that's my opinion. If you want to go ahead and buy that, that optional extra, it probably gives you a slightly better experience, but I don't think it gives you access to anything that I'm missing out on. So I think the best tool is this one and that that's included. So um, that's my opinion on that issue, but um, it would have been nice if they included everything for $89, but uh, that's just how it goes. I still think um, the content is the best um, that I've tried. So Word Hero, I definitely recommend it. I own a lot of these programs now, and if I only had to own one of them, it probably would be Word Hero at the moment. This is the only lifetime deal I can fully, fully recommend because good output, unlimited uh, unlimited word count as well. So I uh, there's really no way you can go wrong. And it does have um, 60 day money get back guarantee f- no matter the reason. So that's really cool. One thing it doesn't have that I would have liked was a free trial because I was hesitant about spending $89 up front. I mean, it does have 60 day money back no matter the reason, which I was just going to um, actually just buy it do the review. Like most of these, I kind of like them, but they do fall short compared to the ones I prefer. I prefer using Pepper Type and Writer most of the time, but this is actually probably just as good, if not better than the ones I've used before. So um, rather than me go ahead and chasing up the refund, I'm actually going to keep this because I really like how it has um, unlimited copy and the copy output is is such a high standard. So I'm going to use this going into the future. If I only had to own one of them, like I said, I'd probably own this one. So yeah, going into this review, all I was going to do, I was going to just buy it, do the review and then get the refund, but that's not going to happen. I really like this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to recommend you choosing this one because it's the only really nice one that has a lifetime deal at the moment. So that link is in the description if you want to check that one out. Again, I don't think there's any much risk um, given that they've got that no matter the reason money back guarantee on AppSumo. AppSumo are very good about um, refunding these tools if you're not happy with them. So, I mean, that's all I can say. Um, I'll put links to my other favorite ones here, Peppertype and Rider. They don't have 
lifetime deals anymore, but check those ones out in comparison. This is probably um, the best one going around at the moment. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.